What's up, Super Bricks Bros here. This video is about set 75954 Hogwarts Great Hall. LEGO officially released pictures for this set on Friday, so let's get right into it. This set has 878 pieces and will retail for $100. It will be released in August, possibly along with the other 2018 Harry Potter sets and the Harry Potter minifigure series. It includes 10 minifigures, the Basilisk, Scavers the Rat, and Hedwig the Owl. It also comes with the Mirror of Erised and the Sorting Hat. The 10 minifigures are Quirrell, Dumbledore, Susan Bones, Harry Potter, Draco Malfoy, Nearly Headless Nick, Professor McGonagall, Hagrid, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger. Quirrell has the updated turban first released in 2015 and also features one of the new wand elements which is included with every minifig in the set except Nearly Headless Nick and Hagrid. Quirrell also no longer has his cape but is very accurate to the first movie, especially his torso printing. Dumbledore has a new hair mold and robe color and he is fairly accurate to the movies. Susan Bones is the first LEGO Hufflepuff student ever, but we do have several LEGO Hufflepuff figures, such as Newt Scamander. She has a new coloring of a hair mold that was first used in 2014. I'm not really sure why LEGO made this figure, as she is not important to the plot whatsoever. This is the first version of Harry Potter with short legs. He also appears to have a new hair mold. They have once again changed the robe design for all the students, removing the house crests. This does really look like Harry in the first movie. Once again, this is the first version of Draco Malfoy with short legs, and his hair color is now more accurate. Nearly Headless Nick features a new hair mold and great detailed printing. He is mostly accurate to the movies, except for his hair. Professor McGonagall has changed her hat color, and now uses legs instead of a dress. She still has the same necklace print, which is really accurate to the movies. Hagrid's hair looks dramatically different, and his legs are more like minifigure legs instead of those lumps they used to be. His lantern is a new mold, Overall, he's more accurate to the movies than before, but his hair seems kind of tall. This is the first version of Ron Weasley with short legs, and he has a different hair mold than before. He is very accurate to the movies, especially his hair that parts in the center. Once again, this is the first version of Hermione Granger with short legs, and she has a new hair mold as well. She actually looks like Hermione instead of those ugly trolls we used to get. I do like the posability and coloring of the Basilisk, but he's way too small overall. Other than that, he's pretty accurate to the movies. Scabbers' mold has changed from the standing rat in 2004 to a new mold that's similar to the standard Lego rat, and his coloring is way more accurate. Hedwig's mold and printing are no different than the 2011 version, and she is very, very accurate to the movies. The Mirror of Erised is a new color and a completely different style of build, which is far more accurate to the movies. The Sorting Hat has a new awesome mold and is very accurate to the movies as well. The Great Hall now uses dark bluish gray instead of sand green for the roofing. I think this switch is fine and the build looks incredibly accurate. I like the Great Hall windows and the roofing design is excellent. Overall, the interior looks pretty good, although crowded, but they do manage to fit in four house tables. The floating candles are neat and we do appear to be getting a couple of new molds on those. One other thing I noticed is that this set is built modularly, which probably means that the rest of the sets in the series connect to this one to create a huge Hogwarts castle, which sounds awesome, and I'm probably going to want every one of these sets. And that's it. Give this video a like and please subscribe.